Yeah. All right, we're getting this set up. So, I was like, we could do a little cat too. Turn this offline. Can you hear me now? Okay, we're live. See what it's doing. It looks like I'm sideways. All right. Oh. The internet can totally see me now. And no one's watching. Can you see it? All right. All right. Let's share. See what happens. Pick up the blanket off the floor. chat works good so you can chat you can ink with me we can enjoy listening to the cat cry and have a good time so I've got it uh, getting ready to start and uh, we should have this this now I got three people watching so I think it's time that we started inking so let me just get things set up hey Tori uh, we're gonna try this out see if this works I hope it does I'm getting my my inks together and uh, camera set up Getting all my paper. We are doing a big ink tonight. And we should have it done hopefully. Uh, it won't be too terribly long tonight. And that way uh, get this done early enough that I can spend some other time with some family. And So let's, let's get in here. All right, now the live chat is working. It wasn't working earlier, but it is now. For... Okay. Feel free to ask questions, comments. Uh, you can, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, for those of you that are interested, we have a Kickstarter going on right now. And if you're interested in, in a big print, like this or a small one uh, I do do private commissions like this is a private commission they're an original one-of-a-kind piece uh, that's different than my uh, um, other pieces which are done digitally you know this is more uh, personal in a way of um, no not really it's just the digitals are still one of a kind this one's actually done though with uh, Copic uh, markers so there we go get down working on our we'll start off with our dragon and working on scales and 
this piece is 14 by 22. It is one of the bigger Copics that I've done. And we want it to have this great feel so when I start coloring it, it will uh, have a nice blend between ink and color. All right, there we go. Now, uh, I, I do, uh, I love this dragon. This dragon just came out fantastic. It works. All right, get in there. So I don't know who's gonna see it. It's not like my, uh, it's not like Facebook where everybody can see it. And if I can't, you know, we wanna, hopefully we'll get a good audience tonight out of this. I don't, I honestly, I don't know. So this was a great piece and it's all about imagination and a little boy's imagination and where they're going to go. I love it. Uh, the kid is, I think, either five or six. And we wanted to do a piece that uh, would allow him to grow old with it. Kind of just have him remember what it was like to be that little kid. And hopefully we'll have an entrance with Sophie in a bit. And see what we can do. She makes my day, that kid. Yeah, now she just rolled her eyes at me. I like her a lot, I'll keep her. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for one second. I just want to see. Oh, cool, man, we got six people watching. All right, that's awesome. I'm still a little kid at heart, aren't we all? Aren't we all? All right, there we go. Now we're getting into that groove. So welcome. Uh, if you're just joining in, feel free to say hi. Uh, you can use the chat function. Um, you can talk. Very much open to having a good conversation. We can talk about all sorts of things. And... Uh, just want to make sure that uh, that everything is is perfect for you and that we're having a good time. Now I do do a, a series of private feeds that go into a lot of, um, especially the Bean, which is my comic. Uh, we do a lot of page creation on those. Um, we talk about the the process. We go from pencils to inks, and uh, that's done digitally. So you get to see a lot of my digital digital work uh, in that and what we will do with that is uh, I'll teach you um, I'm teaching how to use Photoshop with it uh, a couple of the other ones uh, sketchbook pro or, well not so much sketchbook pro anymore but uh, just some just some fun pieces uh, and some programs we'll work a little bit with the different programs and we'll talk about them and how they do stuff and how I approach things and why I use channels and layers and all that other stuff if you want to be in those those chat sessions they are um, for my patreons and uh, they are usually I will record them in the morning and then all right I stopped. Playback error, tap to retry.
Oh, it's still running. Yeah, it, it's got a, a, a weird fresh uh, refresh rate right now going on. So I don't know if we're watching movies somewhere in the house or something else. Come down a little bit so you can see where I'm working. There we go. Yeah, you it's it's live rate is really bad. Let's see if we can get uh see the live chat going on. It's lagging a little bit, Terry. I I'm sorry. And I hope you got to see the other one too that I did this morning. You can actually watch the replay. Get in there. And there we go. I want to make sure that these pieces have, you know, it's important that these pieces to me have value to my, my uh, benefactors. So we really want to get in there and, and make them worth their while of what they want. It's definitely going to be a wall piece. You finally finished. What'd you finish? Well, can we see? So I'll show you what Sophie did. All right. So this is what Sophie did. That's a cool picture. So she's working in a brand new sketchbook. So I'm really excited for her. All right. Get in there, work the, Let's see. So this is new to me. We're trying to get all these bugs worked out in this piece. And I'm uh, just moving all over. Now, usually I used to ink with vellum and I'll still do if I'm doing an inked piece. But this is not going to be just an inked piece. There will be color on it. It'll be vibrant. Um, so we're inking right on the pencils. It's that raw bit of emotion. I like the my closet stay out if I'm reading right. Yep, you were reading right. Stay out of the closet. She's working on detail. Really proud of her. Now this Bristol that I'm using, it's, since it's a much bigger piece, is actually soaking up my ink a little bit more. I'm not upset with that. I'm just going to use these pins a little bit harder. And I am going to color my, my darker black areas with, um, with, a, with a little bit more... Um, feel to them but I'll be using my Copics for that now we put a small gem down here and uh, one of the things that I love about some of these pieces uh, when I get to do these is you, you really get a piece of my soul in it um, I love the message that I get to create with it and that is one of um, I'm a strong believer in hope I'm a strong believer that um, that you can always move forward, and there's always, you know, it might seem kind of dark at times, but there's always a light if you look for it. You just have to look for it, and uh, I love that that feel. Get in there. All right, and we're gonna come over here and work on these rocks a little bit. And uh, I am looking at doing it some more of these big, big pieces. Uh, they will uh, they will be mainly, I think they'll be sold at shows, but uh, just because they're going to be a little bit more than the small framed pieces that I've got, they'll be framed as well. 
but they will definitely have a higher point value on them. They will all be kind of what you've seen, just a little bit bigger. I think my first one will be some huge rock whale piece that's going to come down just neat. You know, I want it to have that, that nice flare to it. Or I might even do a big phoenix. That would be cool, too. Frame it. Get it all nice. Yeah. Getting in there. Make sure my paper still got that dry feel to it. And I'm always looking for new projects to do. I'm always looking, um, hope like Star Wars, a new hope. Nope, not like Star Wars, a new hope, just hope in general. So you can see, we've got six people watching us online right now. Unlike the other night where I think we had almost 60 or 70. So, you know, we'll see how this goes for a little bit longer and then I might move right back over to, uh, to our other place. All right. You'll hear a lot of the same talking. Go in there with the inks. No dead space, no dead air. Couple of good questions. And just a nice live piece of art. Trying to get the lower pieces done. All right, there we go. And I am trying to find the right audience, the big audience to make this. I want as many people that want to enjoy this, uh, be able to enjoy it. So please share. Let's get as many as involved as we can. Okay, there we go. Working on the ground, there's going to be a little bit of texture in there. And there we go. Yeah, nice, nice feel. So I hope everybody is having a good evening tonight. Staying out of trouble. Okay, rocks. There we go. Nice, clean. All right. Good feel. There, no mercy to 46%. It's moving slowly up. Trying to figure out what we can do to help no mercy a little bit. Um, see if we can do to get the word out, get more people interested in the game. I need to change my lines a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a thicker pen. graphic box. Yeah, people ask, I do buy these in bulk. All right. There we go. That, that's giving it a much quicker feel. See, you can get in there and see what's going on. Okay, and for those who are interested, this piece has already been bought and paid for, so 
This piece is not for sale. There we go. So you can see how the lines come out. Now the color is really, I think, gonna help it. Hoping for steampunk, because you had a pet bunny? I'd love to do steampunk bunnies. I think they would be kind of really cool. Yeah, I'm just hoping we can just find the right audience for that game. So, um, they're there. And, uh, you know, most people don't realize that, you know, a lot of these smaller Kickstarters are definitely one person shows. And uh, it's hard to do everything. And uh, I found that sometimes paying for those, you know, I don't want to pay for those extra marketing guys to come in and tell me how to run it. Um, you know, everybody can tell you how to run it, but I haven't seen the results. You know, and you need to use all that, that income that's coming in on those kicks to fund your project and if it's all gone in, into the marketing then you know was it worth it all right there we go working on the uh, the well just a little bit beautiful piece here And then we're going to put the rope right here going down into the well. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. And then we get in here. And we got a nice feel coming onto this. that how that wells coming out pull it over just a little bit get that in there and do a rock here I just love how it's coming together Kind of like the 18. Still got six people watching us.